Have you ever wondered about the origins of the game that has been called the Gymnasium of the Mind? The game that has fascinated philosophers, mathematicians, and kings alike for centuries? Yes, we're talking about chess. Today we delve deep into the annals of history to uncover the fascinating journey of this strategic board game. Our story begins over a thousand years ago in northern India during the Gupta Empire, around the 6th century. The earliest version of chess, known as Chaturanga, was born. It was a game for four players, each with their own army, and was more akin to a war simulation than the strategic one versus one game we know today. By the 7th century, Chaturanga had traveled west to Persia, where it was adapted and renamed Shatranj. Persian literature of the time is rich with references to Shatranj, indicating its popularity and status as a game of nobility. The Islamic conquests of the 7th and 8th centuries saw Shatranj spread further west to the Arab world and north to the Byzantine Empire. The game was also introduced to the Far East via the Silk Road, leading to the creation of Xiangqi in China and Shogi in Japan. With the Moorish conquest of Spain in the 8th century, Shatranj found its way into Europe. The game evolved significantly during the Middle Ages in Europe, with the introduction of the modern moves for the queen and bishop around the late 15th century. This form of the game, known as Mad Queen Chess, is the direct predecessor of the modern game. The 16th century saw the publication of several influential chess books, including The Game and Play of the Chessy by William Caxton and Libro de la Invención Liberal y Arte del Juego del Axedrez by Rui López de Segura. These works helped to standardize the rules of modern chess and establish it as a game of intellectual prowess. The 19th century marked the start of the modern era of chess. The first international chess tournament was held in London in 1851, and the World Chess Championship was established in 1886. The 20th century saw the formation of the Fédération Internationale des Échecs FIDE, and the standardization of international rules. To summarize, the journey of chess from its origins in 6th century India to the global game it is today has been one of constant evolution and adaptation. It has traveled across continents and cultures, been a game of kings and philosophers, and morphed from a four-player war simulation to a strategic two-player game. It has been immortalized in literature, theory, and computer science, and continues to captivate millions around the world. So, the next time you sit down to a game of chess, remember, you're not just playing a game, you're participating in a tradition that spans centuries and continents. You are a part of the grand tapestry of chess history, adding your own threads to the intricate pattern. And who knows, maybe your game will be the one that shapes the future of chess.